Hey folks, it's Grimwit from NatchEvil.com, and uh, we're running. We're on the lam, as it were. Let's ignore all this technical stuff and get out of here. Stop dragging! Let's go! How did you get the board... Well, I guess he went around. Let's close the door anyway. Oh, I, I can't close the door. Alright, screw that. Let's get out of here. Stop! That's Dr. Marcel with Mother Superior. I don't think they've seen us yet. She isn't in her bunk, but she can't be far. I'm surprised that you tolerate this kind of insubordination in your convent. I'll have the entire ground search for her immediately. Do that. By who? All of this seems unpleasantly familiar to me. Let's go. This is our chance. Also, does nobody else see the gnomes? Hmm. Oof. We gotta go. Hey, the diary! And a dead pigeon. When Lily reached the swing tree, she found no trace of Edna. Garrett had vanished too, but the remnants of Edna's diary were lying in the grass. Well, at least we can get this. It had been burned, and it was no longer readable. Only the map of Edna's hiding place could still be deciphered. Ah, it's a cave at Moore Lake. Lily was just trying to memorize the way when... Psst, Lily! Hide! Dr. Marcel and Mother Superior are coming! Oh no, too late! There uh -oh. she is! You probably thought you could escape my examination, huh? Or is there another reason for disobeying Mother Superior's instructions? Uh-huh. Well, let's hear it. Entertain us. Uh, let's see. It's all in this fault. Garrett made me do it. Dr. Marceau is evil. Berries from Mother Superior. Nazi vampires in the backyard. I think we all know I have to choose this last one. This is taking too long for my taste. Cut. <laughs> Was that really necessary? Not really, but it brought some satisfaction to an old man who has had to deal with defiant children one too many times. You must not contradict adults. You must not lie. You must not play with fire. You must not use sharp objects. You must not touch alcohol. You must not hang around dangerous places. You must not lose control. And you must never follow your own wishes. Woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie. Ha! <laughs> woogie indeed. <laughs> and? Did it work? We'll find out in a moment. Lily. I'm sure you can tell me who's responsible for all the chaos in this institution. <clears throat> the chaos, Lily. Who's responsible? Now start talking, you useless ch 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 Remain calm, Mother Superior. She'll answer. She'll answer. Do you know the answer, Lily? Who's responsible? You can tell me, can't you? What's going on? What did she say? 
This case is more complicated than I thought. It's eminently important that you tell me something. Do you know a girl by the name of Edna? Dun dun dun. Why do you ask? I think I've just pinpointed the root of all this evil. It's good that I was able to install all of the important behavioral blocks inside Lily with the aid of my new hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy? Hypnosuggestion, to be precise. The light diodes that I have installed in the eyes of this stuffed rabbit help me take direct control over Lily's free will. From now on, she will behave very calmly. But here, just try it out for yourself. Try it out? That's right. She's now as obedient as a little lamb. Well... Go ahead. Lily, serve the doctor and me some tea. Bravo! Ha ha ha! Well, I'm thirsty anyway. What do you say now, Lily? Would you like to serve her some tea? Sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm I'm a good little girl, why not? Hey, it's a Harvey doll. Hmm. No options for the it though. Funny rabbit with the glowing eyes was sitting indifferently on the chair. Maybe Lily would be allowed to play with him for a while. That's cool. Um Teapot. So where I'm from, we have a thing called parrot disease that you see in movies all the time where they ask the same question... No, they, they ask a question using a word, the last word being used in the sentence, like hypno-suggestion. Hypno-suggestion? Yes, it's what I use to control the children. The children? That's parrot disease. I'm gonna need a teacup. I'm gonna need a painting. Whoa. Don't be afraid, Lily. It's me, Garrett. Please, stay calm. You were hypnotized by Dr. Marcel, and now you're completely in his control. But don't worry, I can help you. But you'll have to come with me to my secret room. You can find the entrance in front of Mother Superior's office, in the dark corner next to the fireplace. But first, I need your help. I've been watching Mother Superior and the Doctor for a long time, and I'm very close to unveiling their evil deeds. All I need is a confession. Here. Take this extract of Deadly Nightshade. Huh. It's a truth serum. Pour it into Mother Superior's tea. As soon as she drinks it, she'll start spilling all of her secrets. Did you understand? Uh-huh. Excellent. Lily! What are you doing? You're supposed to be making us tea, not staring at paintings. Oh, don't be so harsh on her. Lily will complete her task. But I have to confess that I have also admired your gallery. I'm especially interested in this embroidery over here. It's a bit unusual, don't you think? Oh, that one. It's just an old keepsake. Hardly worth mentioning. I can't even remember hanging it there. You can't? Interesting. What is it actually an embroidery of? An eight-legged unicorn? It's only the embroidery of a dumb, irresponsible ch 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 child. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. I think that one wrecked her car. Some of the cups had bite marks. The calming tea didn't seem to work very well. Hmm. That was Mother Superior's calming tea. Maybe she should switch brands. Maybe get some decaf. There we go. Now let's pour that into here. There was only enough serum for one cup. This time, Lily wanted to do everything right. Oh, okay. Let's uh, pour it in the cup. Some tea had to be put into the cup first. This time, Lily wanted to do everything right. Good lord, Lily. Just stop being such a bitch about it and put the goddamn tea in the goddamn cup and the goddamn poison in the goddamn cup. <laughs> there. How hard is that? Lily! You clumsy good-for-nothing. Do you really want to embarrass me in front of the doctor? Hmm. 
That is strange. The hypnosis is foolproof. Ah, it was probably just an accident. The whole ch ch child is a total accident. If I c c could, I would get but please, Mother Superior, do calm down. Lily will complete her task. Right, Lily? Uh-huh. Well, then, please bring us some more tea, okay? Be so kind. Lily didn't show it, but she was close to panicking. Serving more tea was no problem, but where would she get more truth serum from? Hmm. I wonder... Oh, first things first. Let's grab a cup. And I guess we're going to have to go and boil up some more tea. I'll be right back. You guys might remember. Uh, Mother Superior uses this and... Uh, there we go. Some berry tea. She uses this to cook her tea. Hello, Lily. Oh, hi. You're not going to play with fire, are you? Uh. Uh-uh. I just wanted to be on the safe side. Lily carefully placed the kettle on the hook and made sure not to touch the fire. That was Lily's weird. special tea was ready. She called it pure truth, a blend of rooibos and deadly nightshade. I don't like rooibos. Now, I'm I'm one for Jasmine personally. There we go. Try this again. Finally, it's about time. Stupid chop chop chop. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you feeling all right? You are downright hysterical. It's that embroidery. <laughs> it reminds me of my <laughs> childhood. <laughs> I was such a stupid <laughs> child. <laughs> I so wanted to have a unicorn for a pet. <laughs> a unicorn? Can you believe it? But what they gave me instead was... <laughs> a tarantula. Ah, then you're the one who embroidered this. Shaggy died while I tried to attach a horn to a forehead with the nails. <laughs> Love you too. I understand. The adults seem to be busy with adult problems. This was Lily's chance. Oh, gotta go. There's that jump again. What the heck is that from? Mother Superior lit these torches when she sat in her office on dark nights. Grab that. Put it over here. A burning torch would have lit up the darkness much better. Unfortunately, the torch had gone out. Nevertheless, Lily was proud she knew so much about how torches work. Now she watched a lot of torchwood. Let's uh, let's get some fire in this place. How about a little fire, Scarecrow? Ow! Hello, Lily. You're not going to play with fire, are you? Of course you don't want that. You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. <sighs> Something weird was happening here. Let's see if Garrett can help us. How, uh, how you like taking off? Hey, Dr. Marceau. Shaggy! Oh, Shaggy! 
What have I done to you? Let it all out. Oh, what a shame that I don't have my notebook on me. The adults seem to be busy with adult problems. Lily preferred not to talk to her. Um, well done, Lily. I've heard everything I wanted to hear. Mother Superior's obviously gone gaga. I'd already suspected that. Now hurry, come to me in the secret room. There's a hidden door in the dark corner in front of the office, right next to the fireplace outside. Yes. Oh, damn. Of course you can't make any light. You're not allowed to play with fire. I'd completely forgotten about that. One moment, let me think. Hmm, I think I have an idea. There isn't any way to break through a block created by hypnosis, unless you get hypnotized again. It's risky, but you could put yourself in a trance and fight the block directly in your own subconscious. But be warned, the world inside of a trance is an eerie place. It's like a parallel universe that only exists in your mind. Traversing it without the guidance of a trained hypnotist has its dangers. And the blocks created by the doctor will probably appear as powerful demons that you can only defeat in a mental duel. Did you understand all that? Uh-uh. You don't have to. Not yet. Just use the stuffed rabbit to hypnotize yourself. Once you're in a trance, look for the inner demon that's preventing you from making a fire and destroy him. That makes as much sense as anything else in this game. You must not play with fire, Woogie. Woogie. With the rabbit's help, Lily had returned into a trance. At first glance, everything had seemed unfamiliar and strange, completely alone. She cowered inside a cold cave that was illuminated by the giant, suspicious eye of Mother Superior. So there really wasn't much difference to reality. Oddly enough, this is exactly what my dreams are like. Lily would lose this staring contest. No kidding. Yeah, there's a club. It was a wooden club, like Lily had heard about in stories about the Stone Age. Trolls and baseball players. Yar, I'd be having a southern accent. Lily would have liked to look around, but she didn't want to risk being seen by Mother Superior's giant eye. Oh, we can help that. Here you go. Ow! It's gas! My eye's burning! There we are. Let's get out of here. Lily would have liked to look around, but she didn't want... Oh, this thing still. Well, we know how to deal with her. Oh, it's burning! Just wait! When I find whoever's flinging all that dirt around, they're in for a nasty surprise! Mother Superior closed her tearing eye. Lily could move unobserved for now. All right, let's get out of here. Ah! My eyes burning. Ooh. Okay. Wait. What? Lily would lose this staring contest. Yeah, what is this? After dealing with the curtain, Mother Superior had apparently taken her contact lenses out. Strange. In the real world, Mother Superior wore glasses. But in the real world, Mother Superior wasn't 50 feet tall either, so it was probably fine. There needs to be some priorities as to how weird things get. I'll just put that in my pocket, or whatever it is I keep this stuff in. All right, there's a frozen fire behind this Harvey snowman. Lily could hardly believe her eyes. A real cylinder. Right on top of the head of the talking snowman. I want that hat. A real cylinder. Get that yep. hat. 
Get that hat. Mm. Hands off. I need that cylinder. You'd understand if you stood around all day in the cold with a bald head. Uh, no? Um... The fireplace is closed. Good children don't play with fire. And you're a good child, aren't you? Uh-huh. You see? There's no reason why well-behaved girls like you should have anything to do with burning objects. But... But, 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 but. Not one. Got it? Lily wasn't convinced. Garrett had said she should use the fire to make light. That seemed to be a good reason to her. But how was she ever going to convince the demon of this? <laughs> Lily didn't want to seem picky, but that this was hardly the right place for a snowman. Yeah, it is kind of weird, isn't it? Are those McRibs? Either bone collectors were hunting big animals here, or someone had started making a prehistoric loom. I want them. Lily had enough ribs. They were easy to count, but Mother Superior had forbidden it because it ruined her appetite. <laughs> there we go. My goodness, what's that? What's that strange smell? It doesn't smell like carrots, that's for sure. That's... That's... Fire! Oh, I'm burning! Take off my hat! Take it off! Finally, we get this cylinder. It's the latest fashion. Lily wasn't quite sure. She wasn't actually allowed to play with fire. Now do something, Lily. Take off my hat. Take it off. Well, all right. Thanks, Lily. You saved me. Now you see the damage that fire can do. It's best not to touch it. <sighs> Lily was a little contrite. Apparently, the snowman hadn't learned anything. Well, if I'm not allowed to touch it, then I can't keep it on myself, can I? I'll just put it here at the base of this uh, firewood. What's happening now? Hey, stop that. No, don't. No. Lily had put out the fire, just like the snowman had told her to. Hopefully, he now realized that there were quite appropriate situations where one could play with fire. There we go. I have a burning bunny. How was your day today? Well, time to set fire to the house. Congratulations! What the shit? Lily has acquired a new skill. I don't want to. She can your... now get around the ban on playing with fire. Do you... All she has to do is cancel it in her new don'ts menu by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Keep this option in mind. Throughout the game, Lily will learn to bypass many other restraints using this technique. But keep in mind that only one ban can be revoked at a time. Why? Just get off my screen. I hate tutorials. I can't think of a tutorial in mind. Well, let's set fire to this torch now. Ow! Hello, Lily. You're not going to play with fire, are you? Of course you don't want that. You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. Okay, this is Lily's superpower. Something weird was happening here. Lily's superpower is, and I kid you not, to do things she's not supposed to. This is a very strange game mechanic, but alright, here it is. And now I can set fire to things. Lily could finally put her hand in fires again, as much as she wanted. Oh. Which still didn't mean it was a good idea. There we go, put the torch here. With the help of the torch, Lily could finally inspect the mysterious bracket. What a surprise! 
It was a torch bracket, but there was still no trace of the promised secret passage. Well, I guess we'll just go out the front door. I mean, why not? Who's going to stop us? Why should Lily look for secret doors? She already knew of two other ways into Garrett's secret room. Yes, I know. Why do we have to stand around here again? We're supposed to stop that child from escaping its therapy. With violence, if possible. Do you still have your taser? Of course. On the other hand, Garrett had rarely been wrong. Lily would try it his way. Hmm. Let's play with the burning torch. It was true! A secret passage! Garrett was right once again. I think it's pronounced passage. Lily, you did it! Perfect! I think you're finally ready to know the truth. Well, where should I start? How about with you? You? Maybe I should introduce myself first. My full name is Chief Deputy Garrett Gordon Gardengore. I'm an undercover investigator for the juvenile department. I took a position in the convent as a cover to observe Mother Superior. My assignment is to uncover evidence proving her educational methods violate youth protection laws. But Dr. Marcel is an even bigger fish to fry. Compared to him, Mother Superior is a saint. Lily could hardly believe what she was hearing. But now it all made sense. The secret room. The listening devices and the strained voices she kept hearing at night. It was all coming together to form a coherent overall picture. He's a milkman. Ah, ah, ah. Before you ask me any questions, let me quickly tell you one more thing about the hypnosis. This Harvey hypnosis is the doctor's devilish invention. He apparently uses this stuffed rabbit to force his will on you. If we want to get out of here, then you're going to have to fight the behavioral rules he's installed inside you. You can also take on the other behavior blocks, just like you did the one stopping you from playing with fire. But it means you'll have to put yourself back in a trance. The first challenge will be leaving the school grounds. Mother Superior has forbidden you from doing this. And because of the behavior block, you're incapable of being disobedient. The solution is to once again Fight the block while you're in a trance. We have to tackle the problem at its source. Okay, what about Dr. Marcel? No. Let me finish. As I said, Dr. Marcel is a much bigger fish. The police has been after him for a while. He's suspected of using illegal therapy methods that rob children of their childhood. And the hypnosis he subjected you to confirms this suspicion. Okay, so let's call the police. Call? Call the police? Ha! Lily, I am the police. I can help you and get you to safety. We just have to get off the school ground somehow. I think the best way is to follow in your friend Edna's footsteps. But first, I want to answer any questions you have. So? No questions? Nope. Uh -uh. How disappointing. Oh well, okay. Let's go to the tree swing. To the tree swing! Da -na 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 -na. And once again, Garrett is missing. Whoa! Who the hell put that there? Hello, Lily. You're not trying to leave the school grounds, are you? You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. And you do know... You must not contradict the doll. It's possible to have lots of fun without defying the rules set by adults. We could sort your marbles according to colors. I shot them. Or come up with a counting rhyme for folding laundry. I burned it. No matter how tempting the funny rabbit suggestions were, Lily had to get through the fence and find Edna. Hmm. This is a tough one. Do you know the answer? What would you do? 